Hey, hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I have just been uh, harvesting some resources up here on my little island or peninsula, wherever this is here on the, the greater island. And I've done some testing here over on the raft so that I can see if I can build myself a houseboat. So here it is without the sail. I hid the sail. I've done some testing to see if I can, you know, figure out because there's a little bit of nuance to how you can build on top of a raft. And I... Uh, I'm not very good at it yet. We're gonna give it a good try though. Here's all my materials right here. Lots of wood That's what I just went out to go get some more of was some wood and I'm gonna I've tried out some wood I've tried out some thatch. I've tried out pillars and fences But I think I want to build it out of stone because it'll hold up better to the sharks and such Hold up better to the sharks and such. So let me get some stuff crafted and we'll get started Okay, as far as I can tell there's a little bit of a trick that you can do here But you got to get things built properly from the get-go So I'm gonna take out my little wood fence railing here and this will give me a good snap point But I've got to center this up perfectly So you stand right on the front of the boat there and let me know if this is working how does that look right there? Uh, I think it's a little bit off. I'm gonna try it one more time here. Is that any better? I think that's pretty good right there. Next up, we take a wooden pillar, drop it right there in the middle. That should be just about the middle of the boat. Not quite, it's actually a little bit further back, I think, than the middle. Okay, I gave it a, another couple of tries there and I think that will just about do it. That looks pretty good to me. Good enough, anyway. So there we go, pillar in the middle. And from here, what I'm gonna do is get my stone foundations. I'm gonna drop one directly in the middle, one behind, and then I think I made six of these. So I'm just gonna drop six just like so. And that way I can kind of stand on the back and use the rudder still. And I might even be able to kind of put the sail back on depending on how this all kind of shakes out there. I can pick up the pillar now, I think. If not, I think I can put it right back down. Pick up the wooden fence piece and I was hoping to be able to do Something of a tapered bow here on the front. I'm not exactly sure how far out I can go. It might be a very blunt bow. And I'm like immediately already out of resources. Man, I harvested for so long and I only got that far. Uh, I need to get the animals that are good at harvesting because I can't really do much all by myself. That's all the stone I have left right there. Well, I do have some, um, some wooden ones that I was playing with earlier. Maybe I could just throw those on there for now and as a placeholder, and we'll kind of figure something else out later. See, here's the problem that I have though, and that's that I can't go any further. It's like, it's almost like it's just not stable, you know, out beyond the frame of the raft, which it, it does make sense, but it's a little frustrating. I wish I could build out a little further, maybe someday. Yeah, let me know if you have any building tips for me because uh, I'm a rookie at this for sure. So I was then hoping that I could, yeah, put a staircase right on the back here. Okay, so that's interesting. It does let me build off of the back a little further, just not with foundation pieces. Okay, so what if I had like a regular floor piece? Do you think that would work? Well, I'm about to starve to death, so let's take a quick brunch break. All right, I'm a little bit fed up. I'm waiting for some stuff to cook on the fire, and I just wanted to try and put a little staircase here on the back. I can always take that off if I need to, but that should make it a little bit easier to get on and off the raft, or get animals on and off the raft, really. And then I also made this, it's like a railing, and I wanted to see, yeah, if I could just do like a, well, we could do a stone, you could do uh, a wood. A wood would probably contrast better, like a wood railing all around the sides. Can I put one on the triangle? It does look like it. So I reckon I'll need something like 10 of these. Okay, here we go. We got 10 of these railings coming right up. I made about a wood. Probably a mistake, but I just, I, I want it to look cool, you know? I don't want it to be just like all stone because that just kind of looks boring. So there we go. All 10 pieces looking good. I don't even know if I'll be able to, can I, can I control the raft? Can I still get into the raft or do I have to take up this last foundation piece back here to be able to stand? Oh, well maybe this is just how it has to be right here. <laughs> I wonder if I get materials back for breaking things down. I'm gonna experiment with that real quick. Can I just um, demolish that? D did I get it? I got a little bit back out of that because um, we're not gonna be needing this place for very much longer. Okay, the house is mostly dismantled. That should give you the materials I need to do some further testing here. Uh, perhaps we should make some floor pieces and see if that does the trick. We'll just do a couple of thatch 
floor pieces. Yeah, let's see if uh, if this does anything for us. Okay, we we could put that there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can build out now. Okay, so we could make the raft much, much bigger when the time comes, or, or we could just keep it nice and small and compact like so. Okay, the problem we have right now, though, is that it appears to be like there's no way to access it from up here. Yeah, because it just wants me to... It's, it's asking me about the thatch floor, the, the thatch ceiling. I don't want that. I want to be able to jump in the raft. All right, so I've been playing around here for a few minutes. I kind of just took a break, probably right in the middle of a sentence <laughs> to, to fuzz around with this a little bit. So I built these quarter pieces here, and I, I slid those in, and, um, and then I put this ramp on the back. And so I have an easy way to get on and off with my dinosaurs, and I can also still access the rudder. Most of the time. It's a, it's a little bit finicky. You gotta get the, the box just right there. But I think that's, that's a good start right there. At least to uh, get us out of the island and on the move. So, theoretically, we can... I've discovered I can use the foundation pieces, or the ceiling pieces, I should say, to kind of build out in any direction. The only thing is, if I do this, is that um, it looks a little bit, you know, floaty there. So, I'm not sure how to get around that. Can I maybe... Does that give me a snap point to kind of put something underneath it, or... No. No, I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, <laughs> it should be fine. I don't really have enough stuff right now in terms of, like, workstations to even fill this up. So I think this uh, this is a good start here. Let me get everything transferred over and we'll get started. All right, getting everything moved over to the raft and the, the rest of the house demolished here. We no longer live on dry land. All right, the fire is lit. We're cooking up some fish. Just going to get Jill onto here and we are out of here, man. This is nice. It's going to be kind of tight quarters and um, we don't really have room for anything in terms of a bigger dinosaur. I guess this will have to do it for now. Eh, that's okay. We'll settle down eventually, make a base, and this will just be our little, like, mobile base. Okay, I'd say we've lost most of the day doing this, mostly because it's just a learning process for me to do this, but I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just get a view from over here. Yeah, yeah, that's looking pretty snazzy. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen I've seen pictures of people that make these massive whoops these just big enormous like yachts and they're, they're multi-storied and ah someday humble beginnings anyway I gotta get more resources I, I pretty much cleaned myself out trying to build this thing here's a look at what I have left just not a whole lot almost out of stone out of wood oh jeez okay well I basically cleaned out this island so we've got to relocate anyway where do you want to go where are we off to here Okay, we've traveled, um, I don't know, maybe a quarter of the coastline over here, and I'm just gonna drop off here on this beach. It looks relatively peaceful. It's kind of getting toward dark, so I'd like to do some exploration before it does hit dark. So let's just park it right here. All right, what do we got here? Jill, you and me, let's do this. Just some power leveling. That's what I want to do right now. I want to kill some stuff. I want to level up Jill. Jill... Okay, how do I level you up anyway? Access the inventory, and here we go. Oh, 13 skill points. There we go. Um, let's just do straight melee damage. Let's just, like, pump that up a little bit. I think we're gonna need a stronger mount here pretty soon, but uh, for now, I, I, you know, I gotta get my feet wet. I gotta learn the do's and don'ts. Uh, mostly gotta learn the don'ts. I'm sure that'll come first. All right, let's kill. Might need to take a break here to warm up by the fire. In fact, that is definitely 100% what I need to do right now. Kind of, um, I, I gotta figure that part out. <laughs> That's next, right? I gotta figure out how to stay warm. I guess probably get a torch out. All right, we should be warming up momentarily, but Jill's in trouble. Oh, I got you, Jill, or, or you got it yourself, I think. Okay, great job. 
trained you well. <laughs> okay, so the, the weather situation makes me want to look into some warmer clothing. I did unlock some things last night, notably the chitin armor, which I do believe I have some chitin, hide, and fiber. Could probably make a set of that. It says a cold resist of seven, heat resist of five. I do have the materials in my inventory. Do I have to put them in here? Is that how that works? Yeah, that's how that works. Okay, there we go. That presumably, I'll check in just a second, should be a little bit better than what we had before. Yeah, cold resist on the primitive cloth stuff is five. Temperature outside is zero degrees Celsius. Man, it, this doesn't look like the place that gets down to zero degrees Celsius here. Okay, there's some of my chitin armor. I think I ran out of resources there. Ran out of chitin, although... Yeah, there were all those bugs. Any trilobites around here? I don't see anything, and we're losing visibility fast. Might have to just kind of call it for the night and sleep. Took a couple of points into fortitude. Hopefully that'll help me out as well. And here's what we're looking like now. Not too shabby, quite very pink though. I look like a salmon. Well, we'll call this base camp. There's actually a raptor over there. Ooh, I'm gonna go scout that guy out. I'm not cold anymore, so there's that. Okay, Jill, you stay here. Man, you look fire in the sunlight like that. Pretty cool. Yeah, stay there. I'm gonna go see if this other raptor here is better than you. Oh, what happened here? This guy just kind of... Oh, this was a raptor as well. Who killed that? It kind of concerns me. Oh, jeez. I think I'm stuck on him. Get him out of here. Oh, crap. There he is. There's that raptor. He's coming this way. Uh, I don't know if he sees me or not. Ooh, I don't have any bolas either. Is that an alpha? Is that why he's doing the thing with the glowing? Yep. Yeah, that's definitely what that is. I'm running away. Run, 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 run. Get on Jill and continue running even faster now. Gotta lead him away from the boat. We can't have him hanging out back there. Okay, looks like the coast is clear. He found a dodo or something to chew on. Oh, got a drop over here in the woods we could check out. Oh, whoops. I just like was running through the woods here and I came up to this... I don't know what this is. An explorer note. Oh, there we go. There's nothing ah. special about the diet of these tame creatures. After I guess I have a story far, to listen to while I ride through here. There is an here. abundance of prey nearby. All right, the distraction cost me the drop because it's now disappeared. Ah, uh, well, the moon just came out, so we have actually pretty decent visibility here now. And I'm not cold, so I'm gonna do some exploring around here. I found another monkey, level seven. Let's see if I can give him some berries and make him happy. <laughs> guess you gotta do it twice. All right, I've heard some raptors nearby, but let's see if I can finally get this guy. Finished what we started. There we go, we got him. Oh crap, we definitely have some kind of a problem here. Oh boy, everybody follow me. Let's get out of here. Okay, I, I think I've killed the bugs. I'm just working on the Diplosaur now, among others. Okay, all quiet. Scratch that, it's kicking off again. More Diplos are here. Um, Okay, the torpidity on our raptor is rapidly diminishing. And... No, oh, they, they... They've killed things. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Please. Jill Jugs is dead. I'm all alone out here. Great. Uh, well, that's what I get for having low-level tames. That about sums up this adventure. Okay, I'm going back to the boat then to chill out for the night and we'll work on getting a tame first thing tomorrow morning. All right, the sun is out and rising, but it's pouring out. So uh, fortunately I've been able to stay warm throughout the night. I had to kind of pull out to sea a little bit because the creatures were becoming a problem. So last night I did some crafting and I was able to get myself a crossbow. So I think that should replace the bow and we could just put the bow away and get rid of it. I also, I found a green drop last night and among the things that I found inside of it was this ascendant stone pick weapon blueprint. And so I believe if I just say craft one, I think that'll produce me a really nice stone pick, which is pretty good because um, I used all of my iron to make this primitive metal hatchet. So we're out of iron now. So I couldn't make the metal pick anyway. I'm not sure if it would have been any better or not though. We'll always save our tools just in case we need extras later on. I also made up a few bolas so we can try to bola a creature this morning. And we have 31 trank arrows. I do think that there were some trank arrows in the drop. So, and there was some like wool and some like corn or something. I, I don't really know, but I'm ready to kind of get out of here. Okay, I can feel a death coming. It's been a while. There is a white drop that's, I think, working its way down. 
over that way, so maybe I'll move in that direction, seeing as how big guys over there, so... Yeah, we need to be level, I think it was 69, to get a saddle for the Therizinosaur. We are currently level 65, so if I could level up a few more times, we might be able to get a Therizinosaur and just kind of roll with that for... I, I think like a long time. I think the Therizinosaur is a really good choice for a mount. Oh, here's our chance to do some leveling right here. This guy. I'm really mad that these guys killed my my raptor there earlier or last night. Uh, that also brings up the question of if I do find something like a raptor to tame, or a Therizinosaur for that matter, what is it going to eat? Oh my. Th these things are everywhere over here. Oh boy, and I've just aggroed a bunch of them onto me. All right, one down. And two down, broke a spear, got a spare, and, um, <laughs> god, there's a the little baby. I'll leave the baby alone, okay? We don't need to do that. Okay, I can hear the drop coming in. Here it is. Whoop. What's, what is this nearby? That looks like a Carno. Are you a car like a Carno baby? What are you? We do have a mo- is that a T-Rex baby? No, it's like a Carno baby. Where's your mama? And who, <laughs> what are you running from? I got a lot of questions today. I don't know, I want to kill this thing here. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, Juvenile Carnotaurus. Whoa! Ah, crap, I, one of those things stole berries out of me again. I don't even know who I'm killing right now. Damn, I think I lost my Carno baby. I was gonna see if maybe there would be some prime meat in one of those, not that it would last very long. Well, anyway, before I became so sidetracked, yeah, we're looking for this drop right here. What do you got for me? couple of extra spears, I suppose. That's about it. Yeah, those white ones are the worst. Okay, let's see the crossbow here and see. Okay, that's gonna have the regular arrows in it. Oh boy. There is it a sore over there. But I do have uh, the trank arrows with me. I'm gonna die out here. I'm feeling incredibly vulnerable, especially with all these boulders. I could just turn a corner and there's a carnosaur right there. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, see how these dinosaurs, they kind of blend into the tall grass. Okay, well, against my better judgment, I guess I'm gonna dip into the rainforest here. Some more water just ahead here. Something of a fight going on over this way. Oh, what is that? What are these guys? I do see a raptor, a raptor fighting a turtle up ahead. Get the bowl out. Come on, be a, be a high level, please. What level is he? Uh, level 20. Is that, is that gonna do? He's gonna die anyway. I guess I'll wait and see who wins. Oh, <laughs> um, I guess I'm definitely not gonna win. Okay, and Bola, both of you. Yeah, right, they're pack animals. Forgot about that part. I'm just gonna run, because I don't think I can win here. Well, maybe I can. What level are you? You are, oh, 59. Okay, kill that one in the back, and kill the green one in the back as well. Okay, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Got him. And get the trank arrows in. Okay, hopefully it doesn't take very many of these. Oh, crap. Woo. What's happening? Get the bowler back out. Did he die? Did he die or is he unconscious? <gasps> He's unconscious. Yes, I've done it. Here, put some meat in there. And I will work on getting some more for you. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, a little nerve-wracking here. Those guys, I've already died to those once. You could potentially be killed. There we go. All right, give me the goods there. Oh, he's got prime meat. Oh, that is so perfect. A lot of it too. Okay, that's what those guys are good for. Those guys are good for prime meat and meat in general, probably. All right, stuff this guy right full of it. Okay, waiting for the heart rate to come down. What is that tail? Belong, that's a, a big dinosaur. Okay, good, good, good. Give me some regular arrows. And that's a T-Rex over there, isn't it? Oh my god, that's not good. Are you gonna tame up, buddy? Please tame. Okay, take that guy out before he becomes a liability. And keep an eye out for all of the predators that are around here, because there are several. Like, at least three over there. Ah, crap. I don't want him to come over here and eat my dinosaur. They seem kind of preoccupied with each other, though. Okay, taming just went up to 94%. We've gotta prepare to move out, though. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, there's just this guy here. Another one. Okay, they are super duper close. If you could just freaking uh, tame up there, buddy. Wake up, wake up, wake up, and we can get out of here. They're just going from like animal to animal, right straight up the beach. I am gonna have to make a run for it here pretty soon or else die in the process. Maybe I just move over this way. No, 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 this is bad. I could try going into the water. Yeah, I'm screwed. They're gonna eat my raptor, aren't they? Or do they not eat the raptors? 
Ah, he's gonna eat me now. Whoa! I'll take my chances with the piranhas for just a moment here. Oh, he's gonna eat him. Oh, he's eating my stuff, and I'm getting eaten too. Bad, bad, bad. My hat broke. Least of my concerns right now. We're out of the water. We're moving. <laughs> I did, he's right behind me. Ha! Okay, I was hoping that my ag my agility might save me, but I can't move now. I'm, uh, I'm, to I'm totally dead here. Where is he? Where is he? He's left me alone for now. Uh, is there anything I can do to heal? <laughs> Look at my armor. It's trashed. I'm all battered and bruised and bleeding. I'm eating raw prime meat for some reason. Okay, there he is. What even is that thing? Can I get some trank arrows out? This is it. Goodbye, my friends. Ah! That's a T-Rex for sure! No, 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 no. To the water! Nah, I'm screwed. I don't know how I haven't died yet. There we go. Okay, back to the raft then. I'm gonna have to wait for them to clear out of there. Shouldn't take too long. Maybe by the time I get back there, my stuff will be available to me again. Let's uh, just bring the boat over though, because uh, there was some water right there. Uh, just like the good old days getting eaten by dinosaurs. Ah! 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 Tell me this is my stuff right here. Okay, suffice it to say, um, I've been trying to just gather my materials, my stuff back for Oh, a long time, and I've been just killed by everything imaginable. Raptors, freaking Tyrannosaurus. I just need now need to get around that alpha raptor there that's killed me like three times and get back to my boat. And to do that, I'm gonna go through the woods here. <clears throat> Although there's also another alpha something in here. I could see the glow, I could not see the creature. Hopefully I've taken a wide enough berth to get around this. So basically I've just been in a death loop here for several minutes and finally I think I've given up. I'm done. I'm, I'm out of it. And I'm definitely going to find a location that's um, not quite so far away from my raft because I can't get the raft up in here. So every time I respawn it's like half a click away. But the boat should be right over here in this little lagoon thing. There it is. I can see it. Nice. And we're back. Hey, 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 who's who's doing stuff over here? Oh, uh, one of those birds. Wow, what an ordeal that was. You know where I think we should go, though? Is the beginner island. It's the, the island. When I first played Ark, I was recommended to go to this island, and I think it's right over there somewhere, where I don't think there are any predators over there, but there are other things that you can tame, like Ankylosaurus and trikes and such. So I think I'm going to jet over there and see what's up. Oh my god, something's hit the boat. What was that? Oh my god, there's pieces of the boat flying around everywhere. What was that? Oh my god! Oh, my boat! Oh my god, Alpha l l something. I'm totally dead, aren't I? No way, man. Wow. Taking a dip under. Oh my god, no, Megalodon. No, 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 no. Ah, I'm totally dead here. Oh my goodness. I'm starting to get a sense of what turned me off on Ark to begin with. Yep. Okay, so I died way, way over there. My stuff is definitely like at the bottom of the, the ocean, so I'm going to dismiss all of my death markers and... Um, this is it. We're starting over. I think we're actually back on the island that uh, I started on. Right, this was where I built my first shelter, right here. I should have just stayed here all along. After the catastrophic loss of all of our gear on the raft out in the ocean there, I decided to back out of the game and change some of the game settings. For one, I ended up removing that whale thing so that we don't have to face that again. I think that's just, um, it's a little unfair and it just takes away from the experience that I'm trying to have here in my first playthrough. I also doubled the resource harvest amount so that we can catch up a little bit more quickly. And I also basically doubled the amount of daytime and halved the amount of nighttime. So from now on, day Days should last about 18 hours and nights should last about six hours and the whole day cycle should be about one hour and this should just increase productivity and the amount of time that I can effectively film an episode and after about uh, maybe an hour hour and a half of just harvesting resources and building I finally got another raft built even better than the first one actually it's about exactly the same but at least it's 100% made out of stone this time and we should be ready to go for the next episode 
Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.